Welcome to Community Arts Kitchen. Supplies needed. Plastic to cover up your working area. Shaving cream. Assorted colors of food coloring. For this particular project, we will only need red and blue. A straight edge. A skewer or Q-tip. A damp rag and copy paper from your printer to print your flags on. First thing to do for your Memorial Day shaving cream print is to spray the shaving cream onto your plastic surface. Notice I have some wrinkles on here. I don't really worry about that. Um, it's not going to affect my print. So um, give the shaving cream a good shake. Keep the lid on when you do that and then you're going to spray out some of the shaving cream and just estimate where you need it in about a uh, rectangle shape representing um, a flag shape so here we go and you just squeeze that on there here we go and keep it at that rectangle and then you can put the cap back on and now fun thing you're just going to use your hands your fingers and because I already have red on here and I don't want to mess up my print I'm going to use my fingers that are um, clean and so you're just going to smooth out the shaving cream on the plastic and this is not that easy so take your time with it and it's okay if it's not super smooth want to kind of even it out so it's about the same height everywhere and this has some nice scent to it so that's Kind of enjoyable all right so now I have shaving cream all over my hands and this is where the rag comes in and you can just wipe the excess off um, on a rag for our next step we are going to use our straight edge and make the edges of our um, flag area a little bit straighter so you just kind of scoot in the shaving cream like that and if it's too bumpy for you you can just drag your straight edge across horizontally and once vertically it's kind of like icing um, on a cake so it makes it nice and smooth and again, the axis um, can be wiped on a um, rag. Okay, so now we have our printing surface ready and we can go in with color. Before we do that, we need to plan a little bit because whenever you print something, printmaking um, is always reversed. So here's my first take on. And what do you notice? Hmm. Okay, so the flag is reversed. So I really wanted to end up with the blue over here. So that tells me that when I'm planning out my colors, I need to put the blue food coloring over here and then the red for the stripes. Notice that the white of the shaving cream is going to be the white um, of the paper. So white is not going to print for the stripes of the flag. Okay, so we are going to use now the blue food coloring and I'm just mapping out where I want the blue rectangle to go and I'm just going to spritz a few blue dots on here. And because I'm going to do the stars later on with the skewer, I'm just making some rows 
um, of dots, of blue dots over here. Okay, I recommend to always put the cap back on on the food coloring when you're done because it does make a mess. Okay, so next on the flag is the red stripes and I'm just putting some dots and then leave a space for the white stripe and work my way down. And I think I can fit one more, one more stripe. Okay, so I wanted to just let you know that this is not going to be a um, accurate representation of the US flag. This is an artistic way of making a flag and um, just having some artistic license for this is going to be really fun, meaning you can change it up however you want to. It's going to read like a flag of USA because of the colors and everybody knows what, what it look, looks like. So I'm going to use the pointy part of the um, skewer and I'm gonna go in here and just do stars. I think I'm gonna do the X and again, these are not perfect stars. They're just representing the shapes that I'm drawing in here are just representing stars. And it's so fun to just um, mix the colors with the shaving cream and create these star-like um, shapes. Notice how when I draw the star, how the Q-tip gets um, colored and shaving cream is on it. I always wipe it with a paper towel so I have a clean tip for my next star. And I'm just kind of pulling the color from above it down into the next row. Super fun to do. And one more star over here. Okay, this gotten kind of dark over here. It's fine, we're just gonna go with the flow. Okay, to do the stripes, I wanted to do something uh, fun and artistic. So I am going to go in there and just do these curly Q loops. And then I'm gonna stop right here because Otherwise, the red and the blue will mix together and you will get purple, which is fun for another project. But I wanted to keep the colors um, separated for this purpose of the flag. And just relax and have fun with it. Of course, you don't have to do the curly cues. You don't have to do the stars the way I'm doing them. This is totally artist choice how you would like to represent the flag, an artistic United States flag. Okay, here we go. I love how that looks already. Set your skewer to the side. And now you're going to take a clean piece of paper and decide where you want your print to be on the paper. I think I'm gonna just center it and take a deep breath and commit. Don't put it down and lift it and put it down. Put it down and that's it. Now you're going to use your fingers and just gently rub the paper onto the shaving cream and you can already see how the color is binding to the paper. And then lift one corner and carefully peel it off. Ta-da! Ooh, that turned out really nice. You can see there is some um, access shaving cream on there. Don't worry about that. Once your colors are dry, you can just wipe that off. So set this to the side. 
and we can do another print with this. So printmaking is all about you only, you not only get one piece of art, you get several. That's what printmaking is all about. So printmaking means multiple copies of a piece of art. Here we go. And here's the second one. Ta-da! So cool, you can make a whole collection of flax. Okay, let's say you have done enough prints of this one and you wanted to have some fun with it and change it up. Let's get back with our creative flow and let's change it up. So what if I try to give some motion to these red um, stripes? So I'm just going to go for it. And to do that. And with the stars, hmm, what should I do? I'm going to do diagonal lines up here like this. and see how that prints. So fun. Now that you know the system and the technique, I bet you're going to come up with all sorts of fun ideas how you can print. Ooh, I like that. Really decorative. Love it. Before we clean this all up, I would like you to um, have fun with one more last print. So take your straight edge and set it at the top of your flag and just lightly um, drag it across like so. And then you get this um, faded um, kind of a look. Ooh, everything is on my straight edge now. Okay, and I'm just gonna experiment and see how that prints. Take a look. Here is our faded version of the flag. Kind of like it too. So now that I have pulled my final print off of this um, flag, which is looking uh, really mixed and faded, I just want to show you what my straight edge looks like. Isn't that fun? Um, I don't think I can print with this. I am going to rinse this now um, in the sink and just remove the plastic from my surface area and rinse it down the sink. Easy cleanup. Thanks for watching. Community Arts Kitchen was created and developed by Barbara Libby Steinman and Anna Rochester. See you next time.